Hello everyone, this is Joe from the Jira Phantom and today is flashback time. We're gonna go back to a video that we did on the past and make it better actually. And thanks for the suggestions uh, and I've been getting some suggestions from some users and uh, this is pretty much what we're gonna create. So we're gonna go back to the capture video and we're gonna do uh, some click to refresh. Some users suggested uh, in the comments um, and some also sent it to via email and uh, this is pretty much what we're going to create and it's, you click on it to refresh it's going to be pretty easy um, so I'm going to do some changes to the uh, capture class one of the changes is I'm not going to start the session because some users have told me before this that um, uh, they get an error because they say the output has been sent already and you, st you initialize the session after that so therefore I'm gonna change this function to session exist okay session exists so that's gonna return if it, the session exists And I know there's a function, a PHP native PHP function that would do uh, similar things to this, but I'm just gonna use this um, my own function. And here is another problem. This is actually creating the function, the the font file in the same directory you're working on, but it would better to create it on the temporary directory of the system. So to do that, let's, uh, let's use this function temp name doesn't uh, it doesn't contain the e at the end just temp n a m and then basically uh, it takes two parameters first being the path and the path would be uh, the path we're going to use is sys get temp there which will get the temporary directory for the current system that they are on so this would actually make, make it cross-platform uh, it doesn't matter if you're on Windows or or Linux or anything it would work and um, see that works good now remember we changed the code on top to um, to actually generate this uh, create a session so here where we say um, here it's a session start that doesn't exist anymore so instead what we're gonna do is if self session session exist so this will return either true or false if the session exists, it's going to return true. If it doesn't, it's going to return false. So if it exists, then we set the session variable, the session capture variable, to the code that, that we just generate, generated. That looks good. And uh, see another you know, place here where it says get code, the function get code. That also it's using that. So we do the same 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 thing. Self colon colon session underscore access or you turn either true or false so if that's true then it's gonna go in the if statement if not it's not so return time not time uh, rad we could return time but let's do better rad which is a little bit more random so logic here is if the session exists then it returns the actual capture value. If it doesn't exist, it returns a random number. And that's pretty much it. Should work out of the box. So let's go here. And then we get some errors. That error is because um, I'm in, on, on a Windows environment and I haven't commented this out. It should. And then that's it. There we go. Uh, so you might say, "Oh, we're at the same um, place we started." Uh, true, but now let's do something else. So here we're just gonna use JavaScript to um, to refresh 
the capture image without actually um, without actually refreshing the page. So we're going to create a function. This function is going to be called, interestingly enough, refresh capture. It's going to take one parameter, an argument, and it's going to be target. Target will be the image. So this is what we do. First, we're going to use AJAX uh, to retrieve the image source, and that's going to be pretty much how we're going to refresh the image without actually having to refresh the page. So now we're going to create a var, and then this is going to be a request variable, and it's going to be uh, new XML HTTP request. That's you could use uh, uh, jQuery or other libraries that already come with this, but uh, this is just uh, a standalone version that will work anywhere. So XML HTTP request, and then we're gonna have to open the request. So request, open, and post, and the URL. It's gonna be actually the current page. So window that location and true. So that's opening the request already. And uh, so now what we have to do is uh, set the header to be uh, to be actually the URL form encoded. So rec that set request header and then we're actually going to put the header name, content type, and comma header value. And that's going to be application forward slash x dash www dash form dash URL and code it. I hope that I, I type that r right. Application x dash www dash form URL encoded. That uh, should be awesome. Yeah, that's pretty much uh, good right there. And basically that's telling us that we're sending um, some URL encoded values. Actually, we might not need that, but just to be safe, we do that. So now let's do the callback function and that's already state changed already state change equals function and this function actually will be executed when uh, callback res response the XM the the Ajax response comes back now we're gonna check actually we don't need that but just to be safe um, if request that ready state equals four and request status equals 200. Basically, if there's no errors, then we know that that's pretty much good. And then now we do target that src equals rec that response text. And that's pretty much what we have to do there. And now we actually have to send the actual request. So rec that send. And then we're going to just hard code it here. And that's going to be our capture or generate cap request capture or reload capture. Or we want to uh, actually name that. It's just our capture. Whatever name you want to put. It depends on your system. If you already have uh, an R capture uh, value being sent, then you probably would 
like to rename that. So here looks pretty good. Now I have to do it's do uh, on the on the image tag do an attribute on click. Then that's going to take a JavaScript function, which is actually the one we did on top. And then we're going to do refresh capture. Remember, this takes an argument, and the argument is actual image. And then you just pass the this keyword to that, and that represents the actual image uh, tag. Now let's do a title. And this title is going to be uh, click to refresh, just to let the user know if he or she mouses over then if they click on it it's going to refresh the image so now we're going to have to do the the actual image return up here so is that post because we're set using post so uh, you could do get but post it's better in my case in this case uh, r Capture. Then that means that the user is is actually trying to refresh the captcha. So we do echo captcha captcha colon colon image, and we should exit there so we don't get anything else. And I'm gonna uh, make a remark. Uh, you should actually do this before any output. So you don't get any any uh, any unnecessary data on the image because otherwise it's gonna render the image useless or the capture in this case. So that should work pretty much good. And actually, it's not working. So let's see what's going on. What's going on? Uh, oh, there you go. It's not such a function. set request header the R it's a capital R so let's refresh that that's and there's an error er, error here of course um, double equal sign here let's refresh that now great All right, so you can see here just refresh the captcha and uh, click on there and then that's it you click on it it refreshes really fast it's really quick so I'm doing multiple clicks as you can see it's pretty fast so now let's tie it out uh, let's do this one so R Z three one seven eight that should work bad oh okay okay so remember we remove the session start from the CAPTCHA so we have to start the session in the actual file so that should take care of that uh, okay continue let's refresh that and let's try it on this one W7 E9 B9 bad so I must have gotten something wrong there. So let's refresh this to see if we get something easy. All right, like this one looks pretty easy. W E W X I Y. Bad. Uh, that's kind of driving me crazy. L H T A seven Z good finally all right so as you can see here we get these all things that we return the history we don't actually don't want that so let's actually format this in such a way that we don't get that so you add the attribute auto auto complete equals to off that should take care of that continue See, this web page has disabled automatic filling for this form. So that's pretty good because we don't want uh, to have um, actually uh, that appearing there because that's kind of um, useful. 
Pac-Man useless. <laughs> so, uh, so that's pretty much um, addressing questions that you guys has uh, answered me. And uh, I know uh, in another video somebody asked me um, to for the source code of these kind of things. Uh, again, the source code is going to be at GitHub. It's right here. I'm going to put the URL on the description of, of this video. And from now on, anything that I post, the source code is going to be available at github.com forward slash digital phantom. So you want to download the source code, just go to github.com forward slash digital phantom and you'll be able to download it there. The way, if you want to contribute to source code, just send me a request and 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 I'll add you as a as a as a member of any repository. Um, so um, see you next time. This is uh, another video from Digital Phantom, and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like these videos, comment, and I really appreciate that. So we're hitting um, a mark. That's pretty good for now but we actually need more subscribers so we actually got uh, let's see 412 subscribers so that's pretty good and uh, we actually need more subscribers and uh, so remember be sure to subscribe to get future videos and and, and tutorials about this it's gonna be pretty good uh, we're gonna have a lot of videos and actually I'm probably gonna start doing videos weekly and uh, I know it's tough, but uh, and also work. I'm trying to revamp the site, uh, Digital Phantom. Uh, so if you go to digitalphantom.net, it's gonna take you to the actual dphantom.com site. I'm actually working on the process of making this um, community active because this is a shame. See if you go to the news, it's not nothing new. The last post I have, uh, it's December thirty first, two thousand thirty first, two thousand eleven. So if you do the math there, it's pretty damn embarrassing. It's not news; it's probably old. <laughs> so, um, on the forums we we've got some requests and some answers, but that's pretty much dead. But I'm trying to get this community up and running where you guys can uh, post tutorials and see tutorials, create your own things. So it's going to be pretty kick-ass in the future. So be sure to subscribe and also follow us on Twitter and all the social networks. And thanks again for subscribing and being loyal to Digital Phantom. I'm going uh, to gonna put uh, lots of tutorials really soon and probably start doing them weekly so see you next time hope you like this tutorial and uh, that's pretty much it